Hello everyone, hope that you're well. Okay, another consumer review for you. Now, I get asked to do quite a lot of consumer reviews by Amazon and it's usually uh, computer related gadgets and uh, pet uh, pet supplies, things like that. Uh, but this review is of a product that I bought myself and it's something that uh, I have quite an affinity with and it is the uh, Apple iPad. Uh, now this is the fourth Apple iPad that uh, we've had in this uh, household. Um, I bought my wife one Oh, uh, 2015 it would have been for Valentine's Day. Um, this one, in fact, it's the uh, Apple iPad Air Generation 2. Uh, and she still keeps it because she uses it in her uh, arts and craft room next door and covers it with paint. Um, but we replaced it uh, last Christmas, in fact, with uh, this, which is the Apple iPad Generation Air Generation 4, that is. In between that, uh, I decided I wanted an iPad as well. I didn't used to like them. Uh, I couldn't I actually couldn't actually see what the point of a tablet was to be totally honest. I thought I'd much rather use my laptop and my mobile phone. Uh, but then uh, about two and a half years ago uh, we got a dog, our, our border collie Storm, and uh, I spent a couple of months sitting on the kitchen floor while we you know, potty training or whatever, and I used my wife's iPad uh, to watch movies and things and uh, I suddenly began to see what the uh, what the point of them were. Uh, I quite enjoyed using them, so I went out and I bought uh, this, which is my uh, Apple iPad Air Generation 3, which I have absolutely loved. Uh, and it's kept me sane throughout um, throughout lockdown. And I spend most of the day in this room. I, I, this, this is my works, off, uh, works laptop here, and uh, I, I use these three displays here. And um, this iPad sits on this frame up here, just just above my uh, my computer uh, and I've got um, uh, Amazon Music, I've got um, TV on there sometimes, films, all sorts, all, sorts, all sorts of things playing playing throughout the day and it keeps me sane and it's great and I would be happy to keep it however it's only got 64 gigabytes of memory and I'm always bouncing off the limiter because I do a lot of uh, streaming and YouTube videos where I record iOS racing games and um, put them up onto YouTube and I'm always running out of space. So I've gone out and recently I've bought the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Uh, it's 512, meg, uh, 512 gigabytes of storage space and uh, oh, it's, it's a breath of fresh air in that much space, it really is. Um, so I thought I'd uh, share with you my thoughts on the, the iPad Pro because um, these have all been iPad Airs and uh, only, only when we bought the uh, Generation 4 iPad Air uh, last Christmas, it was a decision toss up between whether we we're going to get the uh, Air Generation 4 or the 2020 iPad Pro. It was a very close run thing, uh, and the, uh, the 2020 iPad Pro and the Air Generation 4 are very, very similar in performance. Uh, they both have, um, have the use of the um, Generation 2 Apple Pencil, uh, they've both got USB C ports, the screens are very, very similar. They're just a very, very similar thing. So we went in that regard with the uh, Air Generation 4. It's a little bit cheaper, um, and it's a very, very good machine. But since then, the uh, 2021 Apple iPad Pros have come out, and that's this one here. Uh, you can get it into a, in 11 inch, and you can get it in 12.9 inch. Um, the only difference, other than the size of the screen, is that the, the screen itself is actually different. The 11 inch is just a liquid retina display, just, it's still a very good screen. Uh, whereas the 12.9 inch is a liquid XDR, I think it's called, which is uh, micro LED, I think. Uh, and it's wonderful. You, you put it up against the, the three airs here and you can tell the difference. It is a wonderful screen. It really, really is nice. And to be honest, we watch this thing more than we watch the, we've got an OLED, LG 55 inch OLED TV downstairs. Another like dog. Um, downstairs and it's a wonderful TV but we watch this more than anything and uh, this is the thing it's got the portability we're going to sit down at the bottom end of the garden we watch um, TV and film we've both got Apple iPod Pros uh, AirPod Pros uh, which we can both hook up to just one device and we sit there and watch that thing well into the night it's, it's just just a wonderful experience I mean we've got all of the uh, all of the apps on the Amazon Prime Netflix uh, Sky Go all that sort of jazz uh, it's just a wonderful media experience. It really, really is good. I mean, it's a, it's a heck of a lot of money to spend on just a media experience. So I thought I'd share with you some of my thoughts on uh, what else you can do with it. Um, if you've got um, a uh, modern TV with Apple AirPlay, or you've got a uh, Apple TV um, standalone box, which which I've got there, I've got 4K one there. 
you can cast by airplay anything that's on there you can cast it onto there with the exception of things like Sky Go um, they don't allow you to stream stream um, to uh, other devices away from the main device it's, um, that's just their thing but things like uh, Netflix and uh, Amazon uh, Prime you can do that uh, in fact, let me let me show you how how easy it is to do this. Uh, so at the moment, my, th this TV is currently linked to my uh, my laptop at the moment. So you can connect physically by the uh, lightning. Sorry, not it's not a lightning cable. It's a USB C stroke Thunderbolt port. Um, with that, we're unlike the lightning cable, which you need as a uh, an Apple converter, which costs about forty five fifty pounds. With this, you can see it's a little blue thing's come up saying it's, it's connected. If I connect, uh, let's, let's just bring up this second screen here. There we go. That's, that's a physical connection by, by a uh, USB-C to HDMI cable, that is. And anything I, you can see on there, you, you can see on there. Uh, physical, physical way of doing it. However, if you've got a modern TV, let's get rid of that. And I'll go to uh, my Apple TV uh, box come up in a moment. This will be Apple TV coming up in a moment. It comes up there you go, that's, that's Apple TV. So here we go, Apple TV. Right, uh, if you go to AirPlay, which is the top right corner, drag that down, press that button and select the Apple TV box. Uh, anything that I play on this will appear on here. Um, Apple AirPlay just streams the content like YouTube or Amazon Prime, things like that. Let me, let me show you, uh, let me go to YouTube and go to uh, go to my account, get rid of that second, go to my account, and I can show you a, a review I've done for Amazon not so long ago, so reviews, Echo Dot, let's do that one. So it'll stream, anything that's on here, there you go. There you go. Uh, however, uh, when, when it's in airplane mode, you can Keep that playing in the background, and you can continue to use your iPad without um, influencing what's going on there. However, if you want to display everything that's on your iPad, so let's go back to there, pause that, you can go to screen mirroring, add that, and then anything that's on here, here we go, you've got similar to what you had with the, uh, the physical connection, so anything that's on here will display on there. And that just works so well, it really does work well. Well, the thing is, with the size of this thing, you don't tend to really need to airplay things. So uh, uh, I'll keep, I tell you, I'll keep this on so you can see what I'm doing. But the things that you can do on here, other than all your media things like Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime, whatever, um, you've got, I've got a subscription to uh, the uh, Adobe Creative Suite. So I've got, got Photoshop. And let, in fact, let me, let me show you this. Uh, let me just go back to my, my computer a second. Uh, now when this comes back up, I want to show you this. Uh, this laptop, it costs a lot of money, and it's very, very quick. It's Everything's SSD and super fast. It's got a ridiculous amount of memory, super fast processor, and uh, fantastic graphics card. However, it still takes an age to open Photoshop. Let me, right, I've just double-clicked Photoshop. It's opening at the moment. It's, it's coming up, it's still coming up, it's still coming up. I'm going to put open Photoshop on here, shall I? So let's go to Photoshop, it's still opening. Photoshop, it's open, that's done. It's still opening, and there you go, it's just just finished opening. It's just got to the same screen, they've got to the same screen. That took uh, how long, 10, 15, 20 seconds, I don't, I don't know. This is immediate, I'll show you it again. So I've just hard shut it down, Photoshop is not open. Photoshop's now open. That's how quick it is compared to that thing. And that's because it's Apple, they've always been slick and efficient, but it's now got the M2 processor into it. Uh, and it is super fast, this thing is. Sorry, not M2, M1 chip, sorry, not M2, I'm getting ahead of myself already. M1 processor, and it's just super quick, this thing is. It is such a slick, slick experience. So um, I've got Photoshop on here, which is, it is a cut down version, but it only ever so slightly cut down. There's only a few functions that aren't on there. Uh, People do say whether a tablet is going to be a desktop replacement or a laptop replacement. It's not quite. It's very, very close, but it's not quite. I use Adobe Premiere pretty much every day. And the version of Premiere that's on the, on um, tablets at the moment, it's not quite there. It's, uh, in fact, I'll show you. It's uh, Premiere Rush. This is Premiere Rush. And there you go. It's open pretty quick. Have I ever actually used it? Yes, I have. And... 
it's, it is a light version of Premiere. Uh, the videos I'll do, this video I'm going to do on it, I shall do on my laptop because it's it's just so much better. It's got so much more functionality. But it's only that that's lacking. I've got uh, let's go to um, let's go to uh, Microsoft app. So I've got all my Word applications and uh, I've got uh, Excel on there. And I do I use these regularly. And, and it syncs seamlessly. I, um, it goes through the uh, Microsoft OneDrive network, so anything I save on there appears on there and vice versa. It's, it just happens so slickly. Uh, other things on there, I've got, um, say, all my um, CCTV cameras. So again, let me, in fact, let me, uh, let me go back to, uh, where are we? This one here, so many things open at the moment. Go back to Apple TV so you can see what I'm up to. But, uh, these are my security cameras, so I've got full access to there. I've got uh, access to the internal cameras, so this will be my internal camera. You might be able to find the dog, actually. She's not too sure where she is at the moment. She's at the top of the stairs at the moment. Uh, uh, front doorbell. If someone rings the rings the front doorbell, I've got a camera on the front doorbell. And this, there we go. Tap to go live. And in a second, I'll be able to see what's out, to, out there. On oh, There you go. That's live, so if uh, Posty comes, I can talk to him straight away. Um, the things you can do on here are just so good. It's really, really good. And, uh, likewise, if you want to stream any of my, there you go. All <laughs> it's photographs I've just taken straight, straight on there. Uh, slideshows and all that sort of business. Very, very easy to do. Um, it's not quite a desktop replacement, but it's very, 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 very close. Now, one of the things, and I'll, I'll draw your attention to this. On my old uh, Apple iPad Air. It was a lightning port, as it is on the uh, iPhone 11 uh, Pro, and I had a Generation 1 Apple Pencil, and this was great with Photoshop, absolutely wonderful with, with uh, Photoshop. However, it connects by lightning port, which that doesn't have anymore, so this is now redundant. So this is currently on eBay. By the time uh, this video goes live, this will have gone, and so will my Apple Pencil. I'm saying, it, selling it all, uh, it's, it's now redundant to me. So I'm, I'm now going to need another Apple Pencil. They're, they're a hundred odd pounds they are. My wife's got one though, and I've just discovered this. I didn't realize you could do this, but uh, let's, let me, sh let me show you, let me show you this, so hopefully you can see this, but, right. That is the pencil, Apple Pencil, is with my wife's uh, iPad Air Generation 4. There you go, Apple iPad Pencil, let's get rid of this, see what I'm doing. Um, right, so if we're going to Photoshop, something I was working on earlier on, this should now work. There you go, it's working, everything I do on there, so move things around, there you go, it's working. And it's charging directly from the from the iPad, whereas previously on, on that one, you have to plug it in, and as you can see, it was just a bit of a clunky way of doing things. That was, you're always uh, fearing you're gonna knock it and snap the uh, snap the connector, and, and you're always dropping the lids on the floor as well. This, this charges straight from the, uh, magnetically through the iPad, I think that's really, really slick. Discovered earlier on that if I take that off of there, and I put that onto there, Apple Pencil, it's already detected it, and uh, you can see it's up on, up on the screen there, and if we're going to, um, into my Bluetooth settings, uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, there we go, Apple Pencil, there's my iPads on there, let's just connect that, That's, yes, it's connected. There you go, it's connected. So if I now go to uh, Photoshop, open something up, uh, let's open the same thing up. Okay, and there you go, it's now working with uh, with this as well. So I think that's pretty slick. And again, if I then drop it back over to there, Apple Pencil, just shut that down again. Oop, make sure it's connected. Oh, you have to shut it down first. There we go. Move things around. There you go. It works. I only, I don't need to buy another one. It, it, I can hot swap it between the two devices. Brilliant. That's fantastic. It's just saving hundred odd quid. I thought you might want to know that because uh, I might save you some money if you ever come up to get the same sort of thing. So I've had this uh, just over a week now. Uh, at purchase price, it was £1,269, about £30 off when I, when I bought it uh, from uh, the normal RRP. 
it was it worth the money? Now then, the reason why it costs so much money is because I went for the 12.9 inch screen, uh, which is usually about 150 to 100 pound premium over the 11 inch. But you do get so much more real estate. The, the 11 inch screen is very, very similar in, in size to that. And you, you, you can see the difference in size between those two. It's, uh, it really is quite a, quite a much larger screen that is. Uh, and also it's the uh, Retina XDR screen. Uh, ignore that, that's the uh, um, Air Generation 4, so you're not looking at the light for light. But the screen on this is a better screen. I, I, I went down to Courier's Traffic and have a look before I uh, committed to buy and it does look a lot nicer. It's, it's just a nice, nice screen. But I went for the 512 gigabyte storage. Uh, you can get it in uh, 256, five, sorry, 128, 256, 512, uh, one terabyte and two terabyte. One terabyte and two terabyte is a lot, a lot of money. And it's to me, that's overkill unless you are a very heavy user just on the iPad if you haven't got um, desktops and laptop computers. Uh, 512 megabytes, gigabyte, I keep saying megabyte, 512 gigabytes. That is a, it's a good medium ground that is. Uh, 64 gig on my uh, Air, always bouncing off the limiter, and 128, I'm pretty sure I would have been bouncing off too. I thought for the uh, little extra money to go from 256 to 512, 512 is gonna keep me going for the next couple of years, and I am very happy with this thing. It looks good, it is so slick. I did worry about uh, the size of it because I use I use these for um, iOS gaming and specifically I play games like Street Kart and Real Racing and F1, uh, Rush Rally and I use it with that as the steering wheel and it's a big display that is, but it actually works really, really quite well. Because it's quite a weighty thing, it almost acts as a dampener. When, if you're playing a driving game on iOS with your phone, very very difficult to keep it keep it still and steady and rock rock solid. Uh, you're you're always zigzagging down down the road, but with something like that, it's almost it's almost like a damper. I've got I've got a um, Fanatec steering wheel, a Fanatec um, steering wheel under here, which costs a lot of money, and that has the same sort of sort of effect. It's a heavy weighted device, and it feels right, and this feels right too. It it works really well, really really well, despite the weight of it. It's good. Uh, so, overall, I love these things. The, the Apple devices just work so well. Apple iPads, they are fantastic. And I, I just wanted to share with you my feelings on tablets, because I hated them. I just could not see the point on them before. But the things you can do on this, if you're creative, um, go, it, going to meetings, fantastic. I mean, using the Apple Pencil to, when I'm sat in meetings, right, taking notes, and it's converting it straight into, uh, into a Word document. That's brilliant, it just works so well. Uh, I love them. I really do love them. I think they're fantastic. They they are so much more money than um, a Samsung um, or Huawei or uh, Lenovo. Lenovo should I should know Lenovo. I've got a laptop with Lenovo. Um, but they're so much slicker. They are so much slicker, and they just work. I, I'm uh, IT support for all of my family, and all of my family use um, Android products. And I just dread the phone call it, late at night. All my, oh, my phone's not working, or my tablet's not working. Oh, great! I look forward to coming around and fixing that. With these things, they either don't go wrong, or if they do go wrong, it's something that's very, very easy to fix. Whereas with an Android device, oh, the, the hours I've lost fixing Android devices. I've got an Android phone for work. It's it's just six inches of absolute evil. It's I hate the thing. I took the SIM card out of it and stuck it into there, so I've got a dual SIM card in there. <laughs> it's so much nicer the Apple, the Apple ecosystem. The fact that you can take a picture on that phone and it and it appears on that iPad, that Apple TV, on my on my on my laptops, everything just works seamlessly together. It's sure they they are just wonderful devices, and I can't rate them high enough. Apple just keep doing what you're doing. Try and make them a bit cheaper if you can, but keep doing what you're doing. They are just wonderful devices. So if you have the means, go for an Apple iPad Pro. They are just wonderful things. If you don't quite have that means, the Air Generation 4 is a wonderful device. My, my wife loves loves her Apple iPad, uh, iPad Air Generation 4, and I love my Generation 3. If it wasn't for the, the size of the storage, uh, I'd have still had it. But having used the iPad Pro for a couple of weeks, well, since six days now I've had it. I love it to bits, absolutely love it, it's wonderful. If you can't get one, 